Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jill and welcome back to another back to school video. Today we are going over 10 ways to improve your grades, hopefully get straight A's this year because we all want amazing grades in school. But before we get into it, I want to remind you to click subscribe if you're new here, if this is your first time seeing my face, and to check me out on all of my social media. I'm going to have links to absolutely everything down below, including my brand new blog. It's like two weeks old, but we have lots of really cool content up already, so definitely go check that out. And now let's go ahead and get into it. Tip number one is to remember that grades are reflective of your work ethic, not your intelligence. You don't have to be some genius to get really good grades in school. It's all about working hard and working hard in the right places, which we're gonna get into a little later. So if you're worried about getting bad grades or worried about being stupid, seriously, don't feel that way. You're definitely not stupid. You're just not working hard enough. And I swear, if you put in the work ethic, the grades will follow. Tip number two is to prioritize your classes. Now this is totally individualized because it's all about what's important to you. I would sit down and think about what classes are important to you, which don't take as much time, which require a lot of effort, and then prioritize from there. Get all the really big, hard stuff out of the way first. That way you can end on a really smooth, easy road. And if it comes down to it and you have to choose between maybe a 10-page paper in English or filling out some sort of survey for gym class, it's up to you what it comes down to, but for me, I would probably choose the paper. A good grade in English will probably weigh better for colleges than a good grade in gym class. Tip number three is to make friends with your professors and your teachers. Now this doesn't mean that you guys have to like hang out with them and be buddy buddy, but be respectful to them and they'll respect you back. And that can seriously only help you. If you show that you are making an effort, you care about their class and you care about them, they're going to feel more inclined to help you by giving you extra credit or help you with extra tutoring or just cutting you a break every once in a while. I'm sure when I was in school, a lot of people thought that I was a suck up, but you know what? It really worked out for me. I was friends with pretty much all of my teachers. I was cool with all of them, and I think they all respected me the same that I respected them. Tip number four is to learn time management. Now, this is one of the hardest things to get through, especially if you're doing extracurricular activities like I was. I did community theater where we had rehearsals three times a week from like 7 to 10 p.m. or something like that. So it was really hard when I was getting home from school. I had to try to get my homework done and eat dinner and then go there. And then I wasn't getting home until late. And then I had some time to wind down. Then I was going to bed too late and it was really hard to manage. So take advantage of the time that you have. If you have a little time at lunch, I know it'd be more fun to hang out with your friends, but instead work on some homework. Maybe even work on some homework with your friends. It'll be more fun, you guys will get it done faster, and it'll be easier because you'll be helping each other. Tip number five is to just turn in something. Something is always better than nothing. Let's say you get a 50% on a project that you turned in, at least you didn't get a 0%. That's going to be really, really hard to come back to. A 50%, yes, will pull your grade down, but not the same way that a 0% will. Something is always better than nothing at all. So even if you only have five minutes before class to try to get half of the assignment done, do it. Tip number six is to do the extra credit. I feel like this is such an obvious one, but everyone blows off extra credit, including me. I'm pretty sure I blew off extra credit a lot in school. We already all have such a heavy workload, it's hard to add another assignment on top of there. But putting in that extra half hour of work to get an extra credit assignment done can make all the difference with bringing your grade from a B plus to an A minus, or just bumping it up slightly. A couple points can make all the difference by the end of the semester. Once again, if you put in the work, you're gonna have good grades. Tip number seven is just to be honest with yourself. I think that this is really important to sit back and have a discussion with yourself and maybe with your family and just decide what's important to you. Where do you wanna go in life? What parts of school are going to help you get there? What's important to you? What's your next move, you know? like think ahead a couple steps and decide what's really important to you. If you're honest with yourself, it's going to help you achieve more in the right categories. If you're applying to an art conservatory that's only going to care about your art, then maybe your grades in math don't matter as much. As long as you're passing, that could be enough for you. Tip number eight may sound a little weird, but it's just to slack off when you can. I know <laughs> that doesn't sound like good advice, but honestly, it really is. And it goes back to what we were talking about before with time management. Like if you can do an assignment five minutes before class starts, save it for five minutes before class starts. Just make sure that you know that you can actually get it done. And yes, you can make the argument, why not just spend those five minutes at home? And if you wanna do that, go ahead. But I always think if that's five minutes more that you get to relax or five minutes earlier that you get to go to bed, that can make all the difference with helping you feel better in the morning. So if you can sit down right before class and scribble in some quick answers, like if it's true or false and you know that you know the answers, just do it really fast before class and slack off when you have the opportunity to. Work smart, not hard. I think that's a really great tip. 
Tip number nine is to plan ahead. And this sort of goes back to what we were talking about before with sort of knowing your goals, but setting goals for yourself can make all the difference. And it doesn't just have to be about your future. It can literally be for that day. If you know that you have an English paper that's gonna be due next week, set a goal that you wanna write three pages that day. And if you set that goal, then you go in knowing what you need to accomplish and you can accomplish it better. When you don't really have set goals, I think it's harder to get where you're trying to go. And tip number 10 is just to be kind to yourself. And I don't know if this will really help you get better grades, but I think it's really worth mentioning because at the end of the day, the grade that I got in my sophomore math class has absolutely no effect on my life right now. No one cared when I was applying to colleges that I didn't do great on that one test. I mean, like the things that you beat yourself up for are things that are going to be nothing five years from right now. So take it easy, be kind on yourself, know that you tried your best and that's all you can do. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to request more back to school videos down below so I can make all the ones you wanna see. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.